Hello YouTube. Today I would like to do a, a video about the regenerative uh, acceleration effect taking place inside a transformer. Uh, this is a follow-up video on my pre previous video about this transformer. This transformer has got a very high impedance secondary coil and we will run it at 950 Hz. So uh, for now I would like to give some extra information on my setup. Here's the watt meter, incoming frequency drive controller. Uh, in series I have connected this 2.2 ohms resistor to my primary, to my high current primary coil, so that I'm able to show the current on my scope. And the secondary is still the same. So that I can connect it with my LED light bulb. Specs of the primary, specifications of the secondary. This time I've used this scope to show the voltage across the primary primary coil and the current across the series uh, connected resistor. So the scope shot at the top will show the voltage about uh, the voltage over the primary coil and the scope shot below will show the current. Okay, let's start it up. First, I will start my frequency drive controller to 200 Hz. So now, uh, now the setup is running on 200 Hz by now. And you can see that if I connect my load on the watt meter, it will increase to 24.5 watts. And with a load removed, it will drop to 19.7 watts. But on the scope, you can see what is taking place in the primary coil. So the current is shifting to the left side when we connect the load and when we disconnect it it goes back to almost a 90 degrees uh, phase uh, angle between the current and the voltage uh, this voltage by the way is uh, coming from the inverter and it's uh, pulse width modulation voltage so that's the reason why it's not showing a really nice waveform so but for now what I will do is I connect my load, now it's connected and now it's disconnected so that you have all the information connected and now it's disconnected so you can see that it is shifting to the left this is normal transformer action taking place okay uh, one important thing is that this frequency is not accurate uh, it has to be 200 Hz. You can see that uh, for now it, uh, my scope is uh, set to uh, 1 millisecond per division uh, setting. So in this case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 milliseconds for one period. So that's correct, it's 200 Hz. But the scope has some difficulty showing 200 Hz because of the pulse width modulation. Okay. Now let's do the same for 950 Hz. So, one moment. Now I will speed up my uh, frequency drive controller so that for now it goes to 950 Hz. There we go. Okay, now it's running at 950 Hz. Oh, I have to do some. Yeah. I have to set my scope to. Okay, this is the right setting. And now you can see that when we connect the load, that the opposite is taking place. That for now it will take you 19.9 watts, 20 watts without the load. And when we connect the load, then you can see that it 
drops to 19.86.7 so load removed 20 19.9 watts oh, sorry and with load connected it drops to 19.7 but what is really interesting to see is that uh, in this case there uh, is not any uh, phase changing effect taking place which you can see on the scope so you can see that the amperage on the sine wave below will be slightly higher going to the primary but for now uh, the phase angle between uh, the voltage and the current is 90 degrees and it stays 90 degrees so this is really important and uh, it looks like but it's very hard to see that when we connect the load that it almost becoming more to 90 degrees and when we disconnect it it is slightly less to 90 degrees so this is the reason why we can see that the uh, needed input power uh, is dropping and when we disconnect it that it increases so mm, for now I will show you the scope shot so now it's disconnected and now it is connected disconnected and connected so you can see that when we connect the load that is becoming more and more to 90 degrees so there we have the total setup maybe this is better to <laughs> see the total effect uh, taking place there we go and disconnected connected uh, no, my camera is shaking by now <laughs> it's really hard to hold the camera in this position but for now I hope that it will give you enough information so one more time load connected load disconnected connected disconnected so you can see that it goes more and more to the right side instead of the left side so this is very interesting so the load is running itself for now okay uh, to clarify things a bit more here is the schematic which is used to uh, measure all of the parameters so channel B uh, across the series connected resistor and channel A directly across the primary coil okay that was it for today thanks for watching bye bye